Okay, so here we're asked to find the asymptotes of this hyperbola. So again, the x comes first, x squared minus, it's of the form x squared minus y squared. So we want to use the formulas on your formula sheet uh, that are under the left, the, on the left side. And we, when we look at that, we see this is the formula for the asymptotes when we have an x squared first as opposed to y squared. So we need to figure out h and k, so that the general form is x minus h, so h is 4. We can think of this as y minus a minus 3, because minus minus is a plus. So when we think of it as y minus a minus 3, we have y minus k, k is negative 3. So there's our h, k. A squared is the number under the in the first denominator, so a squared is 9, which means the square root of 9, a is 3. Likewise, b squared is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5, so b is 5. All right, again, technically there's a plus and minus here when you take the square root of a square, the square root property, but we have our plus and minus in the formula, so we're not worrying about that. So now we just plug everything in. So we have y minus k. k is negative 3, so y minus a minus 3 is y plus 3. And that equals plus and minus b over a, 5 over 3, times x minus h, h is 4. And that's your equation. Yeah, you could distribute and simplify a little bit, but that, that's the equation of, of your asymptote.